Hi, everybody. I'm Professor Adam Tiemann of the Enix Labs at Bar-Ilan University. And today we're going to be starting a new course called SOC 101. Or I usually call it everything you wanted to know about a computer, but were afraid to ask. So let's start with our first lecture, which is the introduction. And a little bit of motivation about the course. So how many of you understand this recent news item? Published in Anantech just a couple days before I recorded this, it says that Qualcomm announced Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2. Premium segment SOC gets a Core X CPU core. And then they show pictures like this of this type of system on chip. It's called a Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 with you know, a whole bunch of CPUs, one Cortex-X2, three Cortex-A710, four Cortex-A510 at different speeds. It has a Qualcomm Adreno GPU. It has a Qualcomm Hexagon DSP with an AI engine. It has a memory interface, including LPDDR5X with uh, 16 bits up to 3200 megahertz. It has all kinds of video support. It has camera support up to 200 megapixels. It has an integrated uh, 5G, 4G dual SIM modem. It was brought, uh, manufactured in a TSMC 4 nanometer process. And I bet a lot of you are going to Snapdragon. What is that? And what I kind of do is knock my head in the wall. I thought so. So really the motivation for this course is welcome to hardware engineering. And to get you started on your graduate studies or just to know what's inside a com computer, let me introduce to you to a wonderful invention, the computer. And that's the, uh, you know, early day IBM PC that you can see there. But don't you think it's about time you know what's inside? So the objectives of this course are really to tell you a little more than just common knowledge about computers in general and embedded systems in particular. And this includes basic terminology, components of computers and embedded systems, what a system on a chip is, um, a bit about software, a bit about methodology. And just who is this class for? Well, actually, it's for any engineer, I think. But specifically, really, when I finished my uh, electrical and computer engineering studies, and I did a whole bunch of these types of degrees, I realized that no one ever taught me this stuff. And unfortunately, most of the graduates that I meet today and the kids who come to do their master's or their PhD with me, they don't know a lot of these things unless they somehow learned it on the job in industry or something like that. And therefore, I put together this course to really introduce you to a lot of these concepts, um, not go into deep details, but a lot more than what you would get from just you know reading a kind of... A, basic popular, um, popular content on the internet. 